Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Udi Space. I am Dr. Samadarshan Mahanti and today we will discuss a very interesting topic that is unit of refraction. The unit of refraction is called ton of refraction. So ton of refraction with which all of us are acquainted as far as the name is concerned because the ton of refraction actually represents the refrigerating capacity of a refrigerator or an air conditioner. But the refrigerating capacity should not be confused with the refrigerator capacity. Refrigerator capacity as you know is expressed in liters and that actually represents the space available to keep the food items. So all of us know that it is 150 liters, 190 liters. So this term of refrigeration or the refrigerating capacity should not be confused with the capacity of the refrigerator. Now, when we are talking about an air conditioner, we are more or less acquainted with the term 1 ton, 1.5 ton, 2 ton refrigerating capacity. So what do we mean by that? First of all, I will give you the definition of unit of refrigeration Definition, it is it is defined as the amount of refrigerating effect produced by uniform melting of one American ton of ice from and at 0 degrees Celsius in 24 hours time. So this is the definition of the unit of refraction. The unit of refraction as I have told you is also known as Ton of refraction. So, what is one ton of refraction? Mathematically, one ton of refraction represented as one TR is equivalent to 211 kilojoule per minute. That means, if the heat is removed, at a rate of 211 kilojoule per minute, we can say that its refrigerating capacity is 1 TR. Suppose it is 5 TR, means it is removing 211 multiplied by 5, that is 1055 kilojoule of heat per minute. So now, we have to go for the mathematical calculation, how it is coming out to be 211 kilojoule per minute. But before going to the mathematical calculation, let me tell you that how the refrigerating capacity is related to the refrigerating effect that is produced by melting of ice. Because all of us know that when ice melts, definitely it absorbs latent heat and on absorption of latent heat it will definitely produce some cooling effect. But why we relate this to the unit of refraction? Because before the introduction of mechanical refraction systems like vapor compression refraction system, vapor absorption refraction system, the only way to produce refraction is through ice harvesting. That means ice is to be collected 
in the winter days and they are to be kept in insulated containers and then the melting of ice do produce the desired cooling or refrigerating effect so the genesis of unit of refrigeration is from that only so now we will actually mathematically calculate one ton of refrigeration and we will find out how it is equivalent to 211 kilojoule per minute first thing that we need to understand that there is a fundamental difference between one British ton and one American ton one British ton is 1000 kg or approximately 2240 pound whereas one American ton is equal to 907.185 kg or 2000 pound that's why the British ton is called long ton and the American ton is called one short ton. So one American ton is 907.185 kg. Now the latent heat of ice latent heat of ice at 0 degree celsius is equal to 334.96 kilojoule per kg and you know that from the definition itself when we are calculating the unit of refrigeration this is the amount of heat that is to be removed per kg and the total amount of ice that is available is 907.185 so the total heat removed from ice to convert it into water or the amount of cooling effect or refrigerating effect to be produced is equal to 907.185 into 334.96 this much kilojoule of heat is to be removed from ice so that it gets converted into water and this is the refrigerating effect that is to be produced here we are only considering the latent heat remover because from the definition itself only the refrigerating effect that is equivalent to melting of one American ton of ice from an at 0 degree celsius is being considered now this heat removal from the ice or the refrigerating effect that is produced is in 24 hours time in one minute the amount of heat removed is 907.185 into 334.96 divided by 24 into 60 because in one day you have 24 hours and in one hour you are having 60 minutes so that is approximately equal to 211 kilojoule per minute so 1 TR is 211 kilojoule per minute and if you want to represent this in terms of kilojoule per second it is 3. 5.7 kilojoule per second some people do take this as 3.5 kilojoule per second not considering this fraction being small so now after watching this video I sincerely believe that your concept about the unit of refrigeration which is of course known as ton of refrigeration as well as the genesis of the ton would be very very clear but still if you have any doubt please do put questions so that I will try to answer I would request you to subscribe to my channel 
if you have not done so till now i would further request you to share this video with your friends and relatives to improve its visibility hope to see you soon for another lecture on my youtube channel erudi space